Hello everyone and welcome to Plays Like, GameSpot's new show where we take the console and PC world's biggest hits and try and find out if they have mobile or tablet equivalents because let's face it, no one actually uses their phone to make phone calls anymore. This week we're injecting fuel directly into our veins by looking at what plays like Forza 4 and Ace Combat Assault Horizon. Oh by the way, don't actually inject fuel directly into your veins, it's kinda stupid. Let's hit the streets first with Forza 4 to see what mobile games come close to this Xbox 360 exclusive sim racer. And first out of the pits is Real Racing 2, a great looking racer that features 30 real world cars and a truckload of impressive features. The racing here is definitely more Forza than Need for Speed. It's not exactly a hardcore sim but it does feature some pretty realistic physics and car handling so you'll need to bring some skill to the wheel. Thankfully there are several different control schemes available for you to try. Ranging for ones that let you steer using your device's accelerometer to ones that give you full control of your car. There's even one that does all the braking and accelerating for you. You know, if you have no thumbs. And technically, Real Racing 2 is a powerhouse. Not only does it look great, but it boasts some leading edge features for a mobile game, including 16 player online matches, 1080p output to a TV screen if you're playing the iPad 2 optimized version, and car damage. Take that, Gran Turismo. And an update due out this week improves it even more. First up, AirPlay will be supported, which means that anyone with an iPad 2 or an iPhone 4S can use their device as a controller while the racing plays out on the TV. That's right, the exact same thing the Wii U is trying to do with its new controller. Party Play will also be supported, which means four people with separate devices can race on the same big screen. Next up is GT Racing Motor Academy, a racing sim which is available in various flavors on both iOS and Android devices. GT Racing Motor Academy, which bears more than a little resemblance to Gran Turismo, features more than 100 cars from 30 manufacturers. Just like Gran Turismo, you'll have to earn licenses before you can race in certain events, and the racing here is pretty smooth, featuring even more different control options than Real Racing 2. The graphics aren't as pretty as Real Racing 2, but it's still a good looking game that looks pretty good on large screen devices. There's a free version available for iOS 2, which lets you get the game for nothing, but allows you to spend real world cash to do things like buy XP multipliers or extra credits to buy cars and upgrade. And now we're going to look at what plays like Ace Combat Assault Horizon, the new aerial dogfighting game from Namco Bandai. But before we get to that, here's a little scene from Iron Eagle to get you into the mood. Chappie, I want to help you. Where are you? Climb high like I told you. Doug, I ain't gonna make it. Chappie! Hmm, touching. First game off the deck is Metal Storm Online, and this one's available again for iOS devices. Metal Storm is a pretty looking dogfighter with some neat controls. You use your device's gyro to fly around the world, while swiping on the screen allows you to do evasive maneuvers like sweet, sweet barrel rolls. There's single player here, as well as co-op and even multiplayer matches online. There's also plenty of aircraft and weapons to choose from, but there is a catch. The game is free, and while you earn XP and credits to spend on new gear, some of the planes here are pretty expensive, meaning you'll probably need to spend real-world cash if you want the best plane straight away. Another contender in the fight and fly stakes is Tom Clancy's Hawks, the iOS version of the Ubisoft console game. As well as your typical fighter-to-fighter -fighter brawling, there's a few different mission types you'll find here, such as air-to-ground engagements and even a few stealth missions. The controls aren't quite as smooth as what you'll find in Metal Storm, but they're still pretty serviceable. Just like the console game, Hawks uses imagery from Google Earth for its locales, but since this game is a few years old now, it doesn't quite have the visual pizzazz of more recent games. I know, maybe using the song Danger Zone from Top Gun will liven things up. Yeah! That's it for plays like this week. Until next time, fly easy. We've got your six.